Greetings, lads. I just got back from the Temple of Iron and I thought to check in from the Blessed Dread from Lustria and uh, game a bit with you. Metaphysically hang out a bit with you, my most glorious of subscribers. So I thought to also talk a bit about a few things, but uh, I'm gonna take the turn first so we... Um, get straight into the episode and uh, what can we do we can hire some train of course I mean some troops and then we're gonna go for um, Sentinel time epic name it shall be done. and as I said in the last episode or I don't know if I said it, but uh, if I didn't, I will say it now. Absolutely love this, um, the aesthetics of these models. Boom, now we have a uh, good army going. And uh, yes, all good. Let's take the turn. So anyway, regarding Lustria, if you aren't familiar with Warhammer lore, the uh, Lizardmen are based upon Aztec and Mayan civilizations, so they're basically, um, yeah, Aztecs, but they are Lizards, so the, uh, the aesthetics of it heavily inspired by um, yeah, Aztec and Mayan culture, and also in this particular DLC, I have played some with the... Um, with the Vampire Coast, so uh, Luther Harkon, and I'm very impressed by this DLC, the uh, various game mechanics with um, puzzles, etc. So uh, we might stumble upon some of these in uh, in this uh, Let's Play campaign as well. But uh, yeah, suffice to say, uh, very impressed. Well done, CA. I might make a separate video about it because it's important that we give cred where it is due. So anyway, we have um, leveled, and I suppose we'll just go with um, Dreaded Slaver, and I do this so I can get Draftmaster, and when we have Draftmaster, all of our recruits will be a bit better. So, uh, boom. And I suppose we can take yes. this settlement. Aha, our... Uh, Navy doesn't reach, so we don't have the support of it. Unless, of course, we go up here. Let's try that. Ah, just out of reach. Speak. Absolutely blasphemous, if anything. Anyway, we will um, illuminate these heretics. Anyway. The land mongrels. The uh, he's gonna auto resolve that. Uh, no sense in doing otherwise. And we we'll loot and occupy. Uh, anyway, the gym. I did three sets of six repetitions at 120 kg in the bench press, followed by three sets at five repetitions at 120 kg. And after that, I did. Four sets of ten repetitions at body weight chins. So, some good upper body pump this uh, fine day. Lord Skrolk. The question is, of course, if we want to box with him. He has. Heel Kick of Mordheim. And for those of you who aren't aware of Mordheim, that was a. Or is, I suppose, a city in uh, the Empire. So the Empire is basically 15th century Germany, uh, but in the Warhammer world. And uh, there was a game called Mordheim where you had warbands um, combating in the, the city. Yeah, I never played that, but um, I kind of regret that I didn't. And we have leveled. I suppose sadistic would be... Um, actually quite good to have right now in case we decide to box with these lads um, gonna repair this and uh, 
We might as well try to um, try to get this entire region. Otherwise, we can expand down here. But um, let us build something fun first. Can't really build much. Growth always good. So uh, growth is to um, basically get the city to expand. So right now here's the growth per turn, and then we need more population surplus in order to upgrade this city. And obviously we want this city to be as big as possible because that will allow us to build um, buildings that um, is um, that are good, basically. Yes, immediately. And now I will recruit dark shards because I don't suppose these have particularly many cavalry units since they're skaven. They're basically all infantry and ranged. So I'm gonna go that and um, hmm. I wish I could get a bit closer with this uh, with this guy. I'm gonna try actually if we can get closer here. Ah, almost. Anyway, let's take the turn and uh, see what is going on. Okay, so we could actually sacrifice to Cain. The victims of Cain cannot go meekly to his halls. It must be bloody-handed murder. But once the blood is flowing, from whence will it stop? Okay, so this applies for 15 turns, and uh, that is indeed quite good. Casualties captured post-battle, plus 25%. And uh, definitely, we will uh, appease Kane by, um, by doing that. And I do believe we could uh, actually take this, um, these guys. I'm going to uh, investigate these ruins first and uh, see what's up. Aha, okay, so uh, we might as well declare war because this is a let's play after all, so there's no sense in playing it safe. Declare war. Lord Skrolk, George Soros chosen himself um, okay so they do have um, show me the compass they do have quite a bit of units okay not something we particularly want to um, to box with right now it would be absolutely great if we could get this guy to get a bit further in. And there we have attrition, you can see that on the little skull thing. So the optimal scenario, I'm gonna try that anyway. Boom, absolutely wonderful. Now, you can see, we want to do battle within this yellow ring here. Uh, so we need to... Go... There, I suppose. Then we have a fighting chance. Now, this is not particularly good to force your men into march stance because, as you can see there, they are um, vigor in battle, tired. So, um, so yeah. But uh, hopefully, with the um, with the backup of the dread arc, there we can. Um, do something fun okay so we have been ambushed and I hope uh, it won't be by all of their armies but we'll see what the crack is so since they're ambushing us we don't know what their units are but uh, since we saw it in the previous turn we can um, kind of guess what they have so a uh, oh this is epic absolutely Glorious stuff. So, they will initiate the battle anytime now. And uh, there we go. And uh, 
we're just going to try to get at Lord Skrolk as uh, as soon as possible because they um, once their Lord dies they will become um, disheartened. And now you can see on the right side hand, right hand side we have um, the cooldown for our uh, abilities there. Boom! There, Lord Skrolk, bra. He is uh, he's getting wrecked. Uh, well, hopefully, a bit too uh, too early to say. All right, now we have um ah, Come on then, here we are Okay, so uh, Quickly now Trying to uh, form our units there and uh, Dark Conduit. I'm gonna place them there. And uh, okay, this um, this is looking um, somewhat good at least. We're gonna do a Soul Rain here and see what um, that might lead to. They do have Plague Claw Catapults. That is not a uh, particularly joyous thing at all. And our uh, Lord is being shot at now, not uh, not good. Kane Slash, we will illuminate these heretics. And if our Feral Manticore could... Um, could um, rally. That would be absolutely awesome. The Kraken fight. And Lord Scroll here he is uh, he's still alive. But he is getting shot at. Come on. Shoot him. Oh, there we are. Die, unbeliever. Ah, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you, based Dark Elf. Dark Shards. Okay, so most of their units are um, fleeing, but as you can see right there, they still have the majority of them alive. So uh, I suppose it's the reinforcements that um, that are coming. Okay, there they are. So what we're gonna do is we're going to form up there, boom, in a good neat line, and then hopefully we can get this heel kick of Mordheim. A single bolt, strong versus multiple opponents. Okay, bombardment begin. Okay, so that was um, somewhat good. I'm gonna try there. Okay, good enough, I suppose. And now we have the high ground here, which I did not take the last episode we saw. And I lamented that fact, but now I have redeemed myself. And, um... Okay, this looks um, good enough, I suppose. Because they will have to run up this hill and get... Um, it's shot at by our gallant troops. This might be the thumbnail for this video, by the way. Looks... Uh, Looks good enough. We are ready. Okay, so there we have their general. And hopefully, we can engage with um, Lokir and uh, put on the dreaded duelist. Eager for battle. Fire 
Death and plunder. Boom, there we are. We have uh, unleashed the dreaded duelist. And now we have uh, murderous prowess. So a lot of different combat abilities have been triggered. And I don't mean triggered in the beta leftist sense, but I mean triggered in um, in the good sense. We go with another soul rain and boom there we have a lot of um, packed rat brass boom absolutely joyous to see if anything and uh, this battle is looking quite good indeed now we just have to make sure that uh, Luke here uh, do not die But he doesn't die. I mean, of course. Boom! End battle. So, it was a, um, a good um, decision to uh, get uh, within, the, within the reach of the, uh, of the arc there. Because otherwise I do not think we would have uh, beaten these, uh, these particular enemies. Ah, some good gold gains. And a talisman of protection. Enslave, yes, they will uh, work. They are my... Uh, they're my trusted laborers now. Uh, no, they're not trusted, I suppose. But uh, I will make sure that they have a um, something fun to occupy themselves with. Now, the question remains, of course, is if we can actually if we can actually attack them again. I do not think so, to be honest, because well, it depends, of course, if uh, Oxil is actually without outside of this. No, it should be within. A tough uh, decision indeed. And if I let these guys be, they will heal. Uh, a bit, at least. Now, what I could do is I could go in to there. And now you see we... Um, we get uh, heal as well, and uh, what I can do then is simply to recruit some more units. Mathlan wills it. Mathlan wills it. And then we have a good stack of uh, units there, and um, probably we'll fight some more. So. A bit of armor is always a good um, thing to have, so uh, just gonna do that, and then um, hopefully they might attack us again. Uh, we can't stand here for all too long because we're suffering attrition. Uh, what we could do, though, is to disband these guys to get a bit of. So now we have 216 plus each turn if we disband. Sky 300, so it's good to never keep units idle like that. Now, let's see. Okay, recruit rank 2 plus for Black Arc Corsairs. So that's obviously very good for us since we're dependent on uh, that quite a bit. Now, we can actually upgrade this uh, ship that is obviously... Very good indeed, I suppose. Aha, we're um, we're gonna have a rebellion on our hands um, soon. So let's see. 
what uh, what the crack is. If I take the turn now. The Witch King Sorceress, Felician, requires more scrolls of Hecate for her rituals. Though I find myself distrustful of this woman, I shall do as Malekith has commanded and aid her in this search. The lands are sure to be filled with such artifacts. One just needs a keen eye and a taste for treasure. A taste for treasure. Well, um, that's something we all have. Okay, so uh, that is something that could possibly be done soon, I suppose. By the cruel seas. And uh, I just wish we could get a bit further uh, inland with this um, with this mad cunt, but uh, I would wish to uh, Against deal with this. Hated land walkers. Let's try. Ready my swords. A height doesn't reach. The tower calls. Absolutely blasphemous, if anything. Look here, Felhart. No, Gracie, never wrong. Gracer, never wrong. Okay, so, um, hmm. A shame. Let's, uh. Ready for ambush. Let's stand in an ambush there and ambush see what might happen. Fleet. Otherwise, if they don't come out to box with us, we'll probably have to retreat to deal with these guys. And uh, we are at a deficit, so um, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a predicament. And then we have another rebellion here. So uh, <laughs> yes, um, things could go better, I suppose. But uh, we still have a rather good army to uh, do fun things with. So. Um, let us see. Sign a non-aggression pact. Okay, let's uh, do that then immediately. Where are you? Hi, there you are. Do not let my death mask unnerve you. A bro, no. No. You fool! Aha, uh -huh, okay. Clan. <laughs> Spittle. Trade agreement. That's always fun. Perfect. Okay, so um, we didn't really have any any luck there, but uh, we can deal with these guys at least. Can't reach them. And... Uh, what do you have to do? Is to disband one of these units so we don't uh, go bankrupt because that wouldn't be a good idea at all. Um, so, what I'm thinking to myself is to, um, to end this episode because I don't think Lord Skrolk will uh, come at us anytime soon, and that is something I would wish to have in. Um, in an episode at least, so maybe before I make the next episode, I will uh, take a few turns to just um, deal with this until we can get to the um, to the action again. So, uh, okay, so I'm gonna do one last thing before I uh, I call it a day. I'm gonna do like this: boom. Raid, fight, blunder. And uh, enslave. Get moving. Bring fire and terror. You will not. And go Lord there. Black Court. Plotting a course. So then, hopefully, they will not attack next time, but they will um, um, allow By us to get seas. in there. So anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope it was a somewhat good episode, at least. I am victorious. And comment. Now I have to come up with something that you can comment if you have watched this far.
Anyway, comment what you trained. Comment your last uh, your last gym session or the gym session you're about to do. That will be a good course of action. So anyway, thanks for watching. XOXO. Boom.